This weekly Blender competition is brought to you by Grant Abbott. Grant Abbott provides Blender tutorials for beginners and experienced users such as sculpting, modeling, texturing, animating and a lot more. So make sure you check out his channel and Discord if you haven't already. You can find the link in the description. Welcome at the weekly Blender competition number 13 which I'm going to criticize the art entries and choose some winners based on a new winning system. I'll explain more about that in a second and along the way. And the subject for this week was to create an unusual vending machine. We have two entries and I really appreciate that you guys have joined. Now about the new winning system. I can choose a first and second place winner because we have two entries. But I can also do a different way of choosing them. I can choose a person, um, how much he have worked toward what the objective, uh, which is an unusual vending machine. So you can win on the objective. Or I can choose a winner um, that's based on texturing. So how much you've worked on the texturing you can win or on the light, or on the model, or on the detailing. And this will show a lot more what you have done a good job on and what you can improve. Or um, search tutorials for um, on a better way. Then I just say, okay, you have won. But, you know, there is a lot more to it um, than just winning, right? So I think I want to try this new kind of system. Um, I hope I kind of explain it the right way. I will just explain more along the way. And I have to work the system out because I just thought about it for today based on these two uh, entries. Speaking about entries, the first entry is off. I have to go out the screen and then select the screen. Dev Trottle, Chili Turtle. I'll just call you Chili Turtle. And Chili Turtle have made a very disturbing art down here, which is a very unusual vending machine. Um, your machine, I will guess you can buy hearts, and uh, there is like a, uh, looks like a living organism in there, which looks very creepy, disturbing. Um, I wouldn't dare to put my hand in here. Um, but about what I like a lot is uh, you have made the light coming from the top all the way down which gives a very nice uh, light view onto the whole objective inside the machine as I like to call it at the moment. Uh, you have thought about details about you can put your money in, you can type in the codes, uh, you can get some money back. You have something here at the side going on, you got air van with some disturbing stuff coming out of it. Uh, which is a very nice detail, by the way. Um, I like the color balance in here, just the bluish and the human flesh is slash red, uh, which is a very nice thing. You have done uh, some detailing here and there, and you have also taken care that the machine doesn't have too sharp of an edges, which is a very important thing. This will show more of the reflection, more of the light. Um, you have done some sculpting job in here. Uh, you've done here and there a little bit detailing, um, maybe some texture paint uh, also. Um, uh, it You know, this looks like teats, but at another point it looks like it's, it's the, the ribs thrown out of the torso and ripped open, something like that. Uh, it's very disturbing. Uh, you have done a very nice job on this. The only thing that I would say is cut the picture off. Uh, I mean, it's very nice if you want to have this on your background, um, but for competition the best thing is to just cut it off and um, just so you can focus more on your objective and don't have like empty space in here. Uh, anything else is, uh, I like it a lot. So uh, welcome to the competition Chili Turtle, I hope to see more of your work also into the future. Uh, the second entry is of... Mafa, and Mafa done a very nice job on the texturing. I really freaking like what I see here. Uh, Mafa says in Discord, something I don't want in a vending machine, face oil. Well, I, um, I agree with that a lot. Uh, my girlfriend has like the little bags with um, um, uh, vitamin stuff and fish oil. And um, I always joke about that and I'm getting sick of that because it's way too healthy for me. Uh, so one time I, I got this capsule with omega-3 fish oil, whatever it was. I uh, swallowed it and then I, uh, after 10 minutes I burped, 
which I was very sorry about that. Uh, because I had to almost vomit of the smell coming out of my mouth with the fish oil. Uh, it was so disturbing. I don't want to ever want to do that again. Um, but back on the track. You have done an amazing job on the texturing. Your texturing is pretty much on point, uh, which also shows a lot of detailing um, by just simply adding these textures. Um, you have added in a lot of different products, variety of products. Um, you have done some stickering. Uh, this is a very old machine. It's in uh, somewhere in the city. Um, you got a nice background on it. The only thing that I would say is, you know, put the camera a little bit more up, get the fish into the screen. Because the main focus is on to the machine itself uh, and the product comes out. I really like to have some stuff uh, onto the floor and very nice detailing. Um, the model of the machine is very nice. I only would also say this should be a little bit sharper. Um, Choose a number to get your stuff. Yeah, um, how does this machine work? I mean, is it like with your credit card? Uh, you have to swipe it near the screen and then you type in your product. It will take the money automatically and then you can take your product. I mean, some of, some of these payments exist already, but I've never seen it in a vending machine. Um, this is very uh, futuristic thing. Uh, I like... The fish oil neon sign on it, you can maybe put this into your scene for Grant's competition. Because Grant is doing Project 2046 Neon City competition, the monthly one. Uh, you kind of have still a month left to put your entry in there. So if you would like to do that, you can do that. Um, yeah, what can I say more about this? I mean, you, it, it, it looks very nice already. Maybe, well, let me just see. I'm trying to imagine a person standing here. And I'm trying to imagine the heights. Maybe this machine should be a little bit more thinner and a little bit more higher. Maybe just just a little bit. Just for the feeling. Um, but what you can do uh, is like uh, take a cube and make the cube 1 meter 70 or 1 meter 80 high so you can really see the scale of the person and the scale of this machine um, I, I just think it needs to be a little bit more higher just a touchy um, but it's my personal feeling all right my personal feeling um, so welcome to the competition Mappa. I really would like to see more of your work in the future you have done a very good job um, so now it is really time to choose some winners now, like I said before, I want to do something different. If I really had to choose first place and second place, which doesn't really mean anything actually, then I would still have a hard time and maybe in the end have chosen this one. Why I would have chosen this one? Because a lot of the times I work towards the objective. If something is super unusual vending machine, then this is the most unusual vending machine. And that is actually, I think, a shame because Mappa done a very nice job on texturing. Now, can you imagine if we have 10 entries or 12 entries? Uh, then I can really choose multiply winners or multiply subjects. So, in this case, I'm going to say, Chili Turtle, congratulations with your first place on getting the objective of the unusual vending machine. And I would say, Mappa, congratulations on winning the first place on the texturing. Because you have done a very nice job on texturing. Um, yes, it is also unusual, like freaking fish oil. Um, but it's not that unusual as this one down here. Um, I, I hope for the next time that there will be more uh, entries. So I can just, you know, better show, um, you know, the winners on what. Maybe we will have more texturing. Then I have to choose one person on the texturing. Uh, I will work out the system a little bit more. I will think about it. I will write it down. Um, let me know down below in the comment section what you think of having this different way of a winning system. And uh, let me know uh, some different things where I should focus on that people can also win on besides objective, texturing, lightning, modeling, detailing, uh, stuff like that. Uh, for now, let's just um, check out the um, the next competition 
um, stuff. So the next weekly challenge is going to be a food farm slash factory. Uh, I would like to see a food farm that turns into a factory. So this is um, something you can just play around with. Uh, maybe you make a carrot farm and you show like the process from the beginning, uh, like a seed machine, a um, harvest machine, and then uh, dump it into the factory and shows up how it's getting packed. Uh, Go crazy on this, you can mind anything, maybe, you know, just, just go nuts, a mobile phone farm factory, like, I'm just saying something, uh, the deadline will be March 10 at 2300 hours GMT time, um, once again, let me know what you think about this new uh, way of choosing winners, uh, about the critic I gave, maybe you have something to say, I really would like to read that. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Blender and also questions and requests are welcome anytime.